blessing viewers and subscribers welcome back to the channel and this one my people it gonna be a bit longer you know because another voice note has been uproar in the home circuit court of the one done fiction of the clansman gang so my people this one is it about the pastor from saint thomas who pray and preach loyalty for Brian, be sure you know, my people, you have to be careful of them, Pastor. You know, and my prayer for bad man for more life. You understand? So, see, tell my people, Stephanie Muma Christine, a pastor from St. Thomas, and the lone accused female member of the Wandan fiction of the Clansman gang, and Thursday heard in secretly recording cell phone conversation saying she was fast and pray for the reputed leader of the gang to be released from custody sure my people this is one time she did their road before then lock her up she had preached and fast and pray for him get released from out of custody and she never know fear her time was coming and them clamp her and bring she with him Christine was also forced to pledge her loyalty to the alleged gangster Andre Blackman Bryan after two other in the conversation accused her of being an informer. You see? Two other members you know, accused her and say oh she a informer while she had pledged her loyalty to Blackman which she held a fast and pure female and them thing there which them are that gang member they now do so the thing up up and down the people the 72 minute recording was played in the home circuit court the cell phone recording captured a conversation featuring the voice of christine a gangster called city puss and the former gangster turned state witness who used a software application on three cell phones to record members of the criminal network the recording occurred on April the 4th, 2019. The three could be heard lamenting how the alleged criminal organization finances were be In this case, on the recording, three of them was talking about how the criminal organization was finances when Blackman was being arrested. Additional. They start pointing fingers on other gangsters who were not being loyal anymore with calls being made for young men to be recruited to gang once black man was released from custody. So in that case, my people, them have some other man in other group who will not be loyal and they start buying fingers they want to push them out and start recruit some young heads because you know the young heads them they have a mind of them own and them just go in and say oh a gun thing because you don't so during the conversation christine was accused by other of being an informer she denied those claims in conversation declaring her loyalty to black man she also pointed out where she had to pay money out of her own pocket to assist with the legal fees of gangsters. One such example she seated was she paid 50000 for the lawyer of one member. We have to be loyal. Christine Wilde indicated that she would fast and pray for a black man to be released from custody. Me know him, Brian. Afi come out, them Afi letting go, Christine said. Adding that no one could know the whereabouts of Brian once he was released. Him no say me and no nonsense when it come on to him, you know, because him have some people around him when a liar, she added. City Post who was also incarcerated at the time the conversation was recorded said young men needed to be recruited in the gang because others could not be trusted some little boy with a figure link man 
teach them the thing because the youths are the future he said she show you my people them easily can go link them because you don't know the youth them i got no refuse and from them see the badness and from them growing out them i got move towards it the boy them eat while with a different black man she said a peer shot him shot a man me tell him the bank of it got suck so my people that was explicit so him say s-u-c-k mother from umbre brian get hold him the banker hold on money and him see say we in a crisis and not let off the money he said city post said the gangs the gang banker also wanted him to tell Brian that nothing now go on. I can't tell the man, Brian, that. City Post indicated he also expresses disgust that some gang member who had died could not be buried because of the financial crisis that the gang was in. The witness who was recording the conversation could also be heard arguing that some of the gang members could not be trusted. While the recording were being played, Christine at that time noticed an other occasion staring in the ceiling. Brian also looked on his, similar to other accused person. The reputed leader was seen covering his forehead while holding down his head. During the course of the day presiding former gangster turned state witness it identified the female voice as that of christy several other recording conversations are expected to feature in the trial coming days some people you know don't yet know because you have more banging voice note to be come out because black man will not come out yet, you know and if he one needs to come out too because you don't know in the record while you talk to him from behind the bars so you know say that i eat some people just stay tuned because more left to be released on these vice notes that have been being evidence in the home circuit court in the clanman one gang trial some people bless up